Hello, welcome to That's Brad. We're here at Broham Castle. I think I'm pronouncing it wrong. I probably am. Uh, it's near Penrith. <laughs> north of England. Or well, northwest of England. Past Lake District. I'm probably pronouncing everything wrong, but here's the castle. Look at that. Massive. We are going to go inside. I'll tell you a little bit about the history as we're going in. And then we'll have a look round and see if we can find any secrets. I bet there is. There is one actually, because I've already been in. <laughs> I'm filming this after. <laughs> the castle earliest form consisted of a stone keep, which was enclosed by an earthed bank and wooden palisades, built in the early 13th century by Robert de Vanux Punt. Probably pronounced it wrong. Next to the river Edmund and Laworth, there's also a Roman fort right next to the castle called Brosacium, probably also pronounced wrong. In 1264, Robert's grandson, also named Robert, was declared a traitor and the castle was confis confiscated by Henry III. It was returned, but in 1269 the castle changed hands to the Clifford family through marriage. With the Scottish Independence War breaking out, the castle became a military base in 1292 by Robert Clifford. 1322, Robert's son, Roger Clifford, was executed as a traitor, and the estate was again held by the king until it was given back. In 1388, the castle was captured by the Scots. The castle was kept in good condition by Lady Anne until she died in 1676. Thomas Tufton inherited the castle, who sold the furnishings and left the castle to rot. Don't know if that's the front of the castle. <laughs> I think that is the gateway. It's got to be, on it? There's more around there, but we'll go and have a look in a sec. You see those windows? They're cool looking, aren't they? Well, they would have been. Looks like it was taller as well. Let's go through. Shall we have a look? Ooh, very nice. Get a photo of in here. Little side chamber there. I wonder what that is. Oh, damn, I've left my torch at home. No! You can see the little arrow slits there. Look at that. we've got a side room. I wonder if this is original flooring. Fireplace. Is that a poo shoot? Maybe. Looks like there's some side rooms up there. They're probably toilets to be fair. Look, here's where the gate would have gone. Look, you see that? You see that gap? Would have been a wooden gate. I wonder. I didn't see any over there. So here would have been the wooden gate. Look at that arch there. Ain't that pretty? Like a cathedral. What's that? This room's called Mind Your Head. Oh wow, that's tiny. How am I meant to fit in that? <laughs> oh, this is where the guards would have been. Protecting, yeah. Oh, let's see, the guards have shots here with their bow and arrow. It's very small. What's in here? Should we have a look? It's a small room with another small head height thing. There's nothing there. Could have been for storage, I guess. Mm. 
So we're in the grounds. Look at that. I've never seen a castle with the entire floor like that. Only usually grass. How very weird. Look at that. Nice. Here's the sign. Shall we read it? There you go. Stop and pause. Have a read. I got a smell in his finger. What? I wonder what he's done. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> I can't take me anywhere. Do you find it odd how this is all cobbled? We'll leave that for a minute. Let's go over to this tower. I think this is the well. Should have brought my magnet with me, shouldn't I? Because the magnet fished. Well, we cut off. It's a historic site, isn't it? Ooh, I'm on top of it. Shouldn't do that. Don't do that. So there's the well. Deep down. Alright, here's that tower. Shall we go and have a look? Oh, so it doesn't look like we can go up. Although it does look like there's birds nesting. But we can go in here. And here's what it used to look like. It's very, very fancy, isn't it? I mean, if you look at the window arches and the fireplaces. Oh look, there's still plaster on the walls. Look at that. So that's what it would have looked like. Would have been plastered. ET came. Probably phoned home from here. <laughs> What's this? 1876. Look at that. All these people writing their names in the... Uh, in the stuff. What's that? 1894. The graffiti from uh, back in the Victorian days. It's very neat, isn't it? For graffiti. Very neat. What's that? That's 17. No way. 1728. You see that? No. So, yeah. All the graffiti from back there. 1952 there. There's more. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. 1848. I. Willie. Wilkinson. Wilkinson. It's so neat. Anyway, we're here to see the castle. I'm getting distracted by neat graffiti. So we've got a fireplace. Is it unblocked? I don't know. Ah, no light. Guess it's blocked up at the top. It looks like there's some odd rooms there, but again, the castle walls would have come right up as well, wouldn't they? So, what's here? We got a room. Shall we have a look? Ooh. Step there. Again, I think this is guard's room because there's nothing here, it's just access to shooting. Let's go outside. A toilet. I think there's no, I can't see the bottom. Oh, look at that, there's a tunnel. That's not a room, that's a tunnel. Oh, toilet, sorry. Oh, wow. I wonder if there's access down there. Ow! Hit my head. Alright, let's go back out and have a look at the rest. So here's some other parts of the castle. 
I'm guessing it's something to do with maybe the hall because up there, I don't know if you can see it on camera, there's a slight outline of a roof where the roof was. And over here, if we go through this old doorway entrance by the looks of it, it looks like there's that tunnel. What's in there? Or is it just a runoff? I don't know. There's definitely a tunnel underneath though, definitely. Anyway, here we are. Again, still plaster on some of the walls. So this is what the inside of uh, castle walls look like. Just random bits chucked in with concrete. And then obviously you'll have the outer layer which looks all pretty. Well, did look all pretty. <laughs> you can see loads of different rooms up here. Up there, see? I wonder if this joined or whether someone's joined. Yeah, it's joined. So you can see the old doorway here. The arch. Look, look at that. There's more to stuff. I wonder what these were for. Were these rubbish? There's a nest in there. What's this like rubbish chute where they chuck stuff out? Oh, more graffiti, 18 something. Oh, look at that, that's a nice doorway. And look, there's some steps going up there. So this extended right up above. I, I, I reckon this is only half of its size. I reckon it was like four stories. Let's look at this. Look at that. Looks well pretty. But yeah, definitely. Because if you look up at the top, there's buttresses that stick out. It definitely did another floor up there. Definitely. Oh wow, look at them. Oh, there's little faces. I'll take a photo of that. You'll see it at the end. So we're in another room here, just adjoining that one that I was just in, probably about five seconds ago on camera. But um, yeah, some. Um, I think that's where statues would have gone, or something to like godly, religious stuff. But again, this would have been two story with a nice big arched roof. And here it would have gone up to another floor. You can see the door there where it came out and the floor strut things. Look at that though. I'll show you that in a minute. Stay tuned for that one. I think it's rather funny. <laughs> Alright, let's go in here. Another room. Wonder where this one, what this one does. Is that another well? Oh, that's deep. Another well. Oh look, we still got some of the floor in here. Visitors are forbidden to climb on the walls. Well, I mean that's quite obvious, but whatever. Okay, it's loads of stuff. I mean this I would I wonder what this would have looked like, like, you know, like seeing it up close in real life, not just pictures. It's like little steps up to the window. Oh, it is little steps up to the window. Oh, it's got a moat. Look at that. We'll see that in a minute. If you were attacking the castle, you're running at it like this, covered in armour. Yeah. And then you run in, run in, and then there's the moat. Now moats don't necessarily have to have water in. Uh, it's just like a, a ditch to course, well, to slow you down really, pretty much. There you go, that's what's it. 
I don't reckon that was there though, honestly. I reckon that's been put in. Maybe there was a drawbridge there. I don't know. So it looks like there was more rooms here. Do you know, they are steps, aren't they? Look at that, look. Hey, they got to be steps. They got to be worn away steps then. Got to, yeah, they are. And he, huh. Sorry, getting excited over steps. So, before I said, look at this, I want to show you this. So, here we are in the courtyard, yeah? You're gonna have people down here working, whatever, doing their thing, making sure everything's right. Then look up here. Look at that, you see that hole up there? That's the poo chute. <laughs> That's the toilet. Just think you could be walking down here and just get a turd on your head. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, it could happen. I bet it did. Never mind the birds flying over. It's humans. So here we are for some more castle ruins. This had nice archways here. Look at this. Here's one of the stones that have fallen. Very well made, isn't it? Well carved. That would have been up there. Goes over. Massive fireplace by the looks of it, maybe? I don't know. Possibly. Goes up to the top. Definitely had another story on the top. This was all part of it as well, and the gatehouse. This looks like it was definitely rooms, because we got, that, that's got to be a fireplace, that. That's got to be. It would have gone up. I'd love to get a metal detector on here. <laughs> That's my treasure hunter's side coming through. Alright, we're gonna go inside there, but there's lots of people, so it may get noisy. Let's go and have a look. There's dogs and kids in there, so. So there's loads of little hidey holes, you see. They've got to be for guards. Fireplace over there. Must be. There's arrow slits on, on, on the inside. This must have been an extension or something, you know. Got to be an extension. I'm guessing this was the original. Nice big window archway there. Let's go in. Look at that, massive. Oh look, you can go up to the top. Wonder how you get up there. Let's start down here. Nice little archway coming up. More arrow slits. Very defensive, this castle, isn't it? What's this? Is this another little... I can't see. Yeah. Can you see on camera? I'm using my phone. What's that? That's weird. Is that water? Is it, would they get water? Oh, there's a hole. Or maybe that's where they sorted through the poo. <laughs> I don't know. How oh, very weird. Oh mate, it's full of poo on the floor. Big fireplace that went up straight to the top. Shall we go up to the top? Let's go and have a look. Let's 
see where this goes quickly. Oh, this goes down here. Alright, this goes to that little room I was just showing you from the outside. Again, little guard hubbies here. Alright, let's climb up. So we're going up, up to the top. Oh, these are new. These aren't the original. 1850. There we are. Oh, don't this look nice? Very nice. Oh, wow, don't this look high? Jesus. Oh, right, yeah, so. There's a river. Well, this is cool, eh? It's part of the original. I'm guessing this is where the guards would have walked. Got a nice surrounding, nice surrounding views. Look at that. Would have been a room up here. Would have been another floor. You see there. This is all fancy stone artwork here. Oh look, there's face up there. See that? But look, look at all that. I mean, it's worn down, but it would have looked good, wouldn't it? And obviously you've got your graffiti. Obviously, you got to have that. There's another place there. I reckon there used to be some sort of statue here. Maybe praying to the gods more. That I reckon that was probably a face. Uh, possibly. Then here we've got graffiti off and some stuff carved in. Wonder if that's graffiti. Uh, 1868 G. Bailey. Look him up near Pen Penrith. 1865 63. Look at that. Very, very fancy in this bit. And then you've got all the rooms that would have been there. So, very nice, isn't it, up here? Very nice, very fancy. Should we go down, though? I think we should go down. Let's go down! So I'm just coming down the stairs. I, I couldn't stop off at this level before because there's people here. But part of a Roman tombstone reused in the ceiling in the passage. The Latin may be translated to the spirits of the departed. Titus lived 32 years more or less. His brother set up this inscription. Where is it? Oh, is that it? That's it. So someone's been <laughs> nicking the graves. Look at that. So, there we go. Ow, ow, someone spiked that. That's cool, isn't it? Look. Tombstone. More secrets. This castle's full of secrets, isn't it? Full, lots of little secrets. Other than an electric fence and a pigeon. We've not really missed anything. Wow, they got down the stairs fast. So, just over there, there is like a square looking feature in a field, which I'm guessing may have been like a Roman graveyard by the sounds of them using Roman graves to build this. So there's a possibility Plus, I'd love to metal detect that river there, but it's probably protected, so. So there we are, Roham Castle and Roman Fort. Over there, it's just a square in the ground. There's nothing actually there anymore. And the river 
God, I'd love to get in there and metal detect that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you're into treasure hunting or anything, check out onlinemagnets.co.uk and regton.com. Regton <laughs> get a discount code. Get a discount. Get a discount off 10% off both those. Brad 10. There we go. Did it in the end. But, uh, yeah. Look at that. I want to get in. I want to get in and metal detect it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.